Hey guys, it's me Jake from JakeMan21642. Today I've got a video for you of this 2013 Volkswagen Jetta Sport Wagon. This one is a 2.5 liter SE. This is a very, very nice wagon. I am really a huge fan of these. These are just such fun to drive, great looking and spacious cars. As you can see outside, this one is finished off in a pure white exterior. You can see up top you do have your roof rails as well as your radio antenna right there. Typical Volkswagen, your uh, satin silver trim around the windows, and you do have your body colored mirrors, body colored door handles. You do have your turn signal indicators built into those as well. Coming up to the tires, this one is riding on Bridgestone Acopia tires which are in great shape. You can see this one does have alloy wheels as well. These are my favorite alloy wheels on this generation Jetta. They are 205-55 R16, so 16 inch wheels. Around the back, your dual exhaust tips, Jetta, and 2.5 liter SE badges. On the passenger side, you can see your fuel cap right there, and everything follows through. I mean, this is just such a great looking little wagon. Up front, you do have halogen headlights, and you can see your glossy black grille, which looks great. This one does include your typical Volkswagen uh, switchblade key right here. You have lock, unlock, trunk release, and panic. Stepping inside, this one does have the corn silk beige leatherette interior. But the nice part about this leatherette is it would honestly fool anyone as to being leather. And we have owned a Jetta in my household with this exact same interior. And I can tell you it looks exactly the same as it does right now at 120,000 miles. This wears excellent. And like I said, it's a very high quality material. This one does include your factory carpeted floor mats up front as well. And we'll go ahead and start it. And you can hear one of the nicest things I love about these older Jettas compared to the new ones is just that nice, solid, heavy, just that thunk that they have when you open and close the doors. That's one thing definitely about this Jetta, this being a 2013 model. This does still have the Mark V interior with the way nicer material qualities and everything like that compared to the Jetta sedan in 2013. So that is a huge plus to the wagon. Inside you can see you do have a leather wrap steering wheel. This is the nicer updated steering wheel, nice and tight power steering. Over here your audio controls, and then right here are the controls for your center display. You can go through your settings, range, audio, Bluetooth, all kinds of things like that. Um, on the door itself, Nice padded material up top, as I said. You have padded leatherette on the door, and it's stitched. All four windows are automatic power mirrors right here. They are heated as well, and you do have power locks up there. Headlight controls, your gauge dimmer, and down here, you have a storage compartment. Dashboard is the same thing. It's all nice, soft, padded material. Even around here, it follows through. You can see, you have the very nice looking carbon fiber look trim on the doors and the dashboard gauges in the middle, your tachometer, speedometer, and then center display. Up top, like I said, all padded. Hazard controls in the middle, two air vents, as well as you do have your radio right here. This one does have just the standard audio system, AM, FM, satellite radio, all of your different controls. Bluetooth auxiliary in and your SD card slot. Take a walk on the wild side. I said, hey, Jewel, take a walk on the wild Really a great sounding audio system. Down below, uh, single zone manual climate control, nice and simple to use. These dials are all nice and high quality feeling too. Typical Volkswagen, they actually feel like they're connected to something. They don't clunk around inside of the dashboard. Controls up there and your passenger airbag indicator. Storage beneath this cover, do have a power outlet as well and it is illuminated when you have the headlights on. ESP on and off and this one does have the six speed automatic. Sport, manual. Two cup holders back here and your leather stitch parking brake. Audio, or your, excuse me, your auxiliary in right there. And then inside of the armrest, you have your media in. This one also does include an aux cable, some storage. And this is one of my favorite features. You can move this around, raise it up, and it won't go back down. And also adjust it. Seats in this vehicle are very comfortable. They're typical Volkswagen. They hold you very well. And like I said, this leatherette is extremely high quality. You have your manually dimming review mirror right there. Storage, sunglasses container, as well as your interior lighting controls. Another cool feature of these older Volkswagens is you do have these two little lights right here, which when you have the headlights on, they will cut on and off, as you can see. But they shine down at night. They're map lights, but they're not intrusive or anything like that. But if you need to read something, you can hold it up in the center at night and it will be illuminated. 
Overall though, this interior is a great place to be. I know I keep saying it, but I really do love this generation Jetta and these wagons are so cool. We'll step out, unlock everything, and pop the hood. You can also release the trunk from right here. Inside the rear seat. Now I'm 6'2 and that seat is adjusted to where I would sit. And this is another nice part about the wagon is you get a way more comfortable back seat. I mean, this is a small car and I can sit behind myself very comfortably. It's the same nice leatherette back here too. This seat is back extremely far, but you do have air vents in the center, storage and back seat pockets. Up top, interior lighting. And you do have your handles on the side, everything like that. Right here in the middle, armrest, two cup holders, and this can act as a trunk pass through. The back seat also does fold, of course. Inside of the trunk, let's go ahead and open it. You do have a release right there. Inside, you can see great amount of storage space. This one does include your cargo cover, which is really nice. A lot of new cars just don't come with that, or this is one of those things that people a lot of times will take out of their car, throw it in their garage, something like that, and then just completely forget to put it back when they get rid of the vehicle. This one does include a set of your all-weather mats, and they are the Volkswagen OEM ones. You have your carpeted uh, rear floor mats. First aid kit on the side. It does Velcro up there. And this one also does include your Volkswagen cargo system. These little blocks which will Velcro down and you can create storage compartments, use them to keep things from moving around. And they really do stay down too. Two more of those on that side, storage compartment behind there and underneath everything. To have another storage compartment, lift that up. Does have a full size spare tire as well as your jack storage and everything else of that nature. All of that will just drop back down. Back seats, as I said, they do fold just release from right here. You can see headrest does kind of have to go in, but that'll give you an idea of trunk space. The back seat folded down versus with the back seat up. Go ahead and close that. On this side, everything follows through. And up front, you do have a partial power passenger seat in this vehicle. And inside of the glove box, this one does include your state inspection certificate. The glove box itself is cool. Very cool, typical Volkswagen feature. And up here, does include all of your original owner's literature and everything of that nature up on the shelf. Up front, as I said, halogen headlights. And up underneath the hood, this one does have Volkswagen's 2.5 liter inline five cylinder. Everything under here is in great shape, running fantastic. And this engine, you can get fantastic gas mileage with it. Very nice and reliable too, and excellent power. And you really just cannot beat that five cylinder sound as well very unique. Like I said, we have owned two vehicles in my household with the five-cylinder engine, and really I have no complaints about it. We'll get back in and cut this one off. Bring the automatic driver's side window back up. Like I said, that five cylinder just has such a unique sound. Cut it off. Move the key and cut the headlights off. 
As always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond here in Richmond, Virginia. If you are interested in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.